All right, I'm gonna show a process I use um, when creating isometric art or especially text or you know um, logos or whatever. Um, it's there's not there's some specialized tools, but like in Figma or in Illustrator, there's not a great solution for that. Um, so I actually end up going to Blender all the time. Um, basically, get to create you know this kind of thing here. Uh, you can create these, you know, vector areas with, you know, these vector illustrations with depth in them, this kind of isometric grid, uh, you know, repeating pattern. That's kind of hard to do in the pattern tool in Illustrator. Um, any of this in Illustrator would be hard. This would be really meticulous and take a lot of time. Uh, and I'm going to show you quickly uh, how to create this kind of thing uh, in Illustrator, or sorry, in, in Blender, and then bring it into Illustrator or uh, uh, Figma or Inkscape or anything for, you know, whether it's a pen plotter or, uh, you know, 3D printing or any sort of vector, you know, the CNC milling, that kind of thing. Um, any sort of vector uh, utility requires vector paths. So I'm going to kind of show you my process. So um, let me pull over my keyboard cool so yeah so first things first we use a plugin um it's called oh edit preferences it's called uh, freestyle svg exporter export um it's the i'll put a link in the the uh, description but it's basically the default uh blender um organization that creates it, but it's no longer in the search. I don't, I don't really understand what's happening with the search thing. I feel like I haven't been able to find stuff, but anyway, you can go find this online. I'll, again, I'll put a link to it. Install it and you're good to go. Um, let me start by, <clears throat> uh, let's just create a plane. Oh, oh, S, scale it up, something like that. Um, S, X. Okay, great. Okay, so there's our plane. Now we're going to add, oh, let's do a couple things here. Let's uh, subdivide it and then shift R and do that a few more times. Great. So now we have a bunch of, uh, of uh, uh, lines and edges, right? Okay, so um, let's jump out of there. Now we're going to, on this plane, we're going to add two modifiers, a subdivision, and a displace, right? Um, the displace we'll go to first. We'll click on here. We'll go here. We'll click on just a, this is just an example. Um, bring it up to here. Depth. Oh, not depth. Um, one. Um, Go back to dis, uh, geez, to displace, and then we'll bring the strength up. So now we have something like that. Okay, let's actually make that a little bigger. Um, great, and then we'll come back into here. We'll make this three. Okay, cool. That's a cool wavy kind of shape. So, and then yeah, then we have our uh, subdivision. Actually, let's move the. Subdivision down below it, I believe. Yeah, that will give us more even lines. Um, again, we come in here. Here's all our shapes, uh, or all of our, our triangles. Uh, there's 2,000. And then when we subdivide it with this uh, um, modifier, we have, we're about 32K. So let's go with that. We're going to now bring in a camera, put that in there, um, bring it to here. Easy. Bring it out to there. Now for the camera, I'm going to put it to or the graphic. You don't need to do this, but it's just what I'm doing here. Um, okay, G, bring it to about, let's just say there. Okay. So now that plugin is turned on. We have to go through our settings here. Uh, go to the first one. Sorry, the first one here. Let's first change the EV. EV renders faster than cycles. We're not dealing with lights or reflections or anything like that. It's just vector. It's just the geometry. So we can go there. Um, um, come all the way down here, and there's two things for some reason. Freestyle and freestyle. Turn them both on. Don't really mess with anything. You can just look at these settings here. Okay, second panel. Let's go down to output. Click on this and just call this... Um, 
desktop and call it ABC dot SVG. Great. So now we have an output. Okay. That's all we need to do there. Now this third panel is the final panel. We come down here. There's freestyle line. Make sure the export strokes is on. Um, make sure that the freestyle is on here. And then now when we come down here and we click on all these, we turn them all on. Let's just do that. So now I hit render, render image. And here's what we have. Now that is not what we want. Um, that is because we need to go into here. Let's select all these edges, hit A, and then right click and go to Mark Freestyle Edge. Now let's render that again. Okay, and we're getting closer. Now we have all these different things, but here we have this kind of contour, uh, these creases, we're trying to match all this stuff. That's all these settings here. Let's turn everything off but edge mark. Render that again. Okay, we're even closer. We get this depth and dimension, but here we have way more, um, you know, polygons and paths and stuff that we want rendered. Um, and yeah, that's not rendering because we have these modifiers. So we're just going to apply and then um, apply. Now we go in here and there's all these paths. Still, when we do that, it's going to render the same. That's because we've only marked certain ones. So now we have to come into here. We do A again, and then we mark freestyle edge to everything. Now, boom, now we have this vector file. And now when we're rendering this out, we can come right to, I saved on the desktop, here it is. And just pull this into, let's say Illustrator. And here's everything, right? Um, it looks a little weird, but you know, what we can do is do this and change this to one. Um, and now we get some cool depth and you know, whatnot there. Um, we can also go back here. Let's undo that. Back to the modifiers. We'll do just one. And then we'll apply that. Okay, now we do the same thing. We do a mark freestyle edge, render, render image. And now we're back to there. Uh, sometimes, by the way, if this, um, the texture is weird. You can actually come into here, um, um, back down into here, this third layer. And way down at the bottom, you have all these. You can actually control different things, but um, we're going to just control the color. You can say, hey, I want this to be pink, right? Again, none of that matters because you can change it all in Illustrator or, or whatever. But now we have some contrast there. So let's come back here. This was just saved. Let's drag this into Illustrator again. Oh, we got to close that. Um, drag that back into Illustrator. And there we go, All right? So now let's change this. What was it? It was at uh, one. That looks good. So then we'll go copy, bring this into, let's say, Figma. All right, and now paste here. Um, shift A, oh, come on. there we go. And change this to, there we go. And now we have this shape. So it's super easy. Um, obviously there's some edges missing, but then we can just crop that in, crop that in. And now we have our cool vector, what have you. Um, Cool. So that's that. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's those three panels. Um, let me show you some more things here. Oh yeah. And I was going to show you. So in on this, like an isometric pattern in the pattern maker and illustrator is really kind of hard to do. It's, for me, I don't understand the math, but um, it's really easy in illustrator or in, in blender. You just lay it all out and then put the camera up and you're good to go. Um, I wanted to show one other thing here. So I'm actually just going to delete this. I'm going to do file. Let's import an SVG here. Um, let me just do my logo here. Let's 
scale that up. Control A, scale C, move it down to there. This for whatever reason, let's delete that. And then Control J, select all these, select these. Control J, now we have one curve, okay? Um, let's go into the curve here and we'll give some depth in the geometry. We'll extrude it 0.02, I believe, yeah. And then camera, we'll do something like this, do this, great. Um, we can do a different view because this is the one. Let's just do this. Okay. Um, now in here, and by the way, the orthographic view, usually the, the general um, parameters, I believe, are like, 45 on the X and then 45 on the Z or negative 45. Um, and that's it, right? But you can do 33, negative 33, and then G, right? So you can kind of do whatever you want there. Okay, so same thing. Let's go into here. Let's render this and see what happens. It's odd looking, so let's go back into here. Um, this third one, go back down, and we have pink, so nothing's happening. So that means we have to go into here and we render that again. Let's see, why is that not working? Okay, um, um why is that not working? Oh, oh I think we can do we turn all these on. Our image, sorry. Oh, yeah, okay, so. We turn all those on and here's what we have right now if we come back up to here we're in this third tab this angle sometimes it's like here right and then we do render image sometimes you'll get this this is kind of when if you've ever messed with a curve and tried to make it into a mesh this is what happens um this is just this crease angle so let's change that back to oh in fact let's let me show you this let's just turn off the crease render that again that's almost right, but it's missing all these lines here, right? So we want the crease. In fact, I think it's just the crease, but I'll leave them all on. Um, okay, well, we'll leave them all on, but I think it might be just the crease. But come into here, and then if you change this to like 90, render that. So we're closer, but we're missing all these little angles in here, these little teeny lines. Um, you see, you've got to mess with these settings. I think this one was 133 or something like that. Um, and yeah, there we go. We have everything. There's a couple of errors there, but um, if I come back into here, nope, if I come back into here, and I'll drag this one into Illustrator. Oh, sorry, I got to close this one. Um, drag this back into Illustrator. Okay, there's everything, right? And then now I go into here. So you can do the fill in the vector. Um, I'm just going to do the way that, um, hold on, let me zoom in here and just do this real quick, clean this up. So a couple little cleanups, but it's pretty much as we want, right? So, oh my gosh, come on. Here we go. Delete, delete. And that's pretty good. So now what we can do is we do A, which is just a one. Um, now what we're going to do is come into live paint bucket. All right? And we go, oh, we go boom, 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 boom. Let me just do all these real quick. Right, pretty easy, and then this is just give it that. We're just defining what these are, um, which is real quick. Okay, so now we go into where is it? Paint, paint selection. Okay, so then we do this, 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 this. Just the faces here. Um, okay, green. Now we'll do these. Let's do this quickly. Uh, 
probably a faster way to do this. I, I don't know. No. Okay, we do this. And then we do blue, right? Colors don't matter right now, but actually we'll do, let's just do these bottom ones. Um, the red. Okay. So now what we can do is grab all this, copy this, come into, again, I'm just doing between Figment Illustrator just to show you that workflow. There it is. I can do, um, so it's white. Let's do this stroke is white. Oh, no, let's do this stroke is white. And then now we can change, oh, I missed that one, but I'll go fix that. But, but now we can change all of these to whatever colors we want, right? Great, and now we can, again, this is a pretty easy way to um, get vector files in, um, into, uh, as I said, into vector format um, with not a ton of extra work. Um, again, if we're gonna do something like this, um, I'm just showing this for like pen plotters or for CNC, um, you know, things like that. We can come into here, turn that off, come into here, turn that off. And, you know, we more or less have this pretty slick uh, vector path that we can, you know, flatten and then clean up and, and um, use in all these vector tooling. So. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, last thing I wanted to show, actually, sorry, real quick. Um, sometimes you need to, um, when it's a curve, you'll convert to a mesh. And that's where you see, you know, you'll see all these paths, but it's the same thing, right? If I go render image, it's still doing that same thing. So, um, you know, you can go in here and delete these, um, delete the edges, delete all these edges. Um, but if we render, we can, we can do it with, with very little, you know, it, it's showing some of these, but we more or less get the artwork that we want. Um, and, but just by controlling that, this, this crease angle and, and these settings here. So cool. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions.